What's up, Badass Black Desert Mobile fans? It's another week in another patch note. We got some more goodies. We got the new Town Hall Level 7. We got new Tier 6 horses. We got gear resonance unlocked for plus 37 and plus 38, as well as a bunch of new events that offer a chance to get your hands on a free orange accessory. That's right. If this is your first time on my channel, you are missing out. Make sure you check out the description down below for some additional Badass Black Desert Mobile content. You won't be disappointed. Before we get into this week's patch notes video, I got three things I want to cover. The first thing is my guild is recruiting. We are on server Medea. We do have about six slots. We are level seven. We are looking for people that are 4,000 CP plus, and the guild name is legitimate. So come find us out. That is the first thing. The second thing, I've gotten a lot of overwhelming support from you guys since not being accepted into the Black Desert Mobile program, and that's okay, but I super appreciate that. I did set up a channel membership. You can check that out. You can hit the join button down below, as well as the Patreon page that I have that does have the end all be all document on there. Shout out to Jersane Cortez as well for being a part of my channel membership and helping support me. I really appreciate all that you guys have done and continue to do. And with that being said, let's dive right in. So Black Desert Mobile can't have a, a home run update every single week. We just They just wouldn't be able to live up to it. This week's update, they gave us the new gear resonance, plus 37 and plus 38. Each plus of those does add plus 14 combat power. So if you add plus 38 right now from plus 35, it would add 28 plus combat power. They added the new tier six horses, so you can, can combine those. And that's just telling me that Mercantry is coming soon. So I'll make sure I have some Mercantry info out there for you guys. Town Hall tier seven is upgraded so now you can add some more lodging you can build another lodge and then you know add get some more workers as well as another garden they did also add some gathering feature spots so as you can see there so it does take one day it costs more loyalty and food but you do get more uh it is still more beneficial to farm at the lower level areas as far as per hour you do have to have a higher level as far as world gathering the second best update for this week is Node War Times have changed. Now it's there's a 1900 and a 2100 slot, which is super, super important because I know I a lot of guild members that weren't able to attend, and I know a lot of you guys weren't able to attend either. So finally, they did change that. It only took four, three months, a little over three months. Uh, they did increase the boss knowledge to a maximum level of 50. They adjusted the Titan Spectre's attack and HP. They did remove everybody's node true uh, workers from the node manager. They did give you the, your rewards in your mail, so go check that. And then you have to put your workers back out there again. They did fix an issue with the Titan's Lava Piercer description. And then some of the other UI fixes, as you guys can see there. They did also add a new event. I'll go over those in a second. Chance to get some orange accessories. They did change it, so now if you attack monsters, they chase the adventure if you sprint uh so it doesn't matter what class you are they did add some other events as well we're going to go over that right now all right let's talk about events first the first event i want to talk about is the amazon prime event they did update this with a lot of new goodies so you can see the goodies there for the first reward the sixth reward is giving you 14 day combat pluses horse tier emblem four and a pet wizard goss goss fee tier four Boss Stamps, Ancient Tabs, three epic accessories, not one, but three epic accessories in an outfit, and weapon and armor outfit. So make sure if you haven't, you link your Amazon account. They did give us a 2020 Fiesta event. As you do each one of these missions, you get this chest that gives you five black stones, 100 ancient coins, a high grade crystal chest, and one of those Fiesta coins that you need. So you get you can get that five times a day. Yeah, five times a day. Once you get 40 of those, you can get the ultimate one which is a thousand magical residue three grand black stones uh black crystal pouches epic crystal accessory and then 10 of the event certificates so that is a 2020 fiesta event make sure you guys go and do uh, each one of those smaller ones to so plant in the garden use ancient coins spend silver boss rushes cleared and defeat enemies they did give us the spring login event. So similar to the previous login events, you just log in and you get goodies. Uh, they, at day five, they did give us three unique crystal chests. Day seven is a free pet again. Day 14 is an orange epic or an orange accessory, not epic, just orange mystical accessory. So they're giving us a free orange accessory. That is awesome. Now, if you pay the 1400 regular pearls, you can get 3000 black pearls as well for logging in each day for those that want that option. We do still have the Dark Knight pre Dark Knight pre registration event. We do have the Vidir guy in each town, so make sure you, you do those every day. They are goodies. You can also open your first red nose chest from the event. 
So if you open that, it will give you the second one. Uh, free helmet there I got. Valk's helm. Boots. Five of the certificates. And then I got that chest for next week, which is the armor and gloves. And then another of the 10 event certificates. So make sure you guys get that event done. That is the Dark Knight pre-registration event. We still have the special daily login and the Ellie Bellucci exchange event. So make sure you get the, your exchange tickets. You can go in there and swap them out for some, some goodies. By now, we have enough certificates. They upgraded the Town Hall Tier 7. You can go into here to this bad boy and you can upgrade your Town Hall to Tier 7. It is an instant upgrade. With that upgrade, it gives you the option to build another lodge. So you can build an additional lodge. You can upgrade that lodge. You can build an additional garden as well. They did also update the gathering. They added the one day option. It does cost 1400 food. So it's over, you know, three times the amount of the eight hour one. It's over that. So it costs more food than an eight hour one. And it only gives 378 resources so if you calculate three times 132 that's two, 264 364 396 as opposed to 378 so the eight hour option is better than the 16 hour or the one day option and so far and definitely better than the 16 hour option so the lower the that you farm the more resources you do get back they added the gear resonance, as you can see here, plus 37 and plus 38. When you get to plus 37, it added it adds 14 combat power. And then when you get to plus 38, it adds another 14 combat power, but that's all attack. So if you get to plus 38, it's add another plus 28 combat power, and 26 of that is attack. You can now upgrade your horses. So if you have two tier five horses, you can breed them to tier six horse like I just did there. So he's granting a max MP of 18% for 30 minutes. That's so bad, but that's what they gave me. Uh, increased bond effect, decelerate faster, forward attack, and increased growth. He does also carry more, so the, the horse does carry more for a higher tier. So that is the horses as well. They updated the node manager for better rewards. And when they did this, they removed all the workers from the nodes. So you wanna make sure that you go and put your workers back on the nodes. And then if you go to your mail, you'll actually be able to see the rewards that you had from working on that node. I already collected mine, but they'll be in here so you don't lose out on anything. Uh, and then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you put your workers back out so you can get those new goodies. They updated the boss rush knowledge to a higher level now i believe it's level 50 for those that were added i mean i'm level 15 and 20 i mean i got like 2,000 rushes to do some of you guys might be higher but i wasn't even close anyways so they did update that for those that needed it they updated the node war time so if you go to the guild's gateway and then go to node wars and then go to thursday since they're the next one if you notice at the bottom down there it says schedule schedule battle time 1900 or 2100 so they actually give you two options so that is very nice. And this is for every time slot. So they took the 2200 slot out because of the time change. It just wasn't feasible for, you know, 90% of the people. The 1900 slot's a great option. 2100, still a little late for people. It's still, you know, 11 p.m. for some of you guys. But at least there's that 1900 option now for Node Wars. That covers everything in this week's patch notes video. We got a lot of new goodies. Make sure you guys stay prepared for next week's patch note or patch. It's going to be a big one with that Dark Knight release. And there's going to be new Shaka 2 weapons. There's going to be an influx in the market. There's going to be a lot of stuff. It's going to be a little bit crazy, kind of like when the Sorcerers came out. So make sure you prepare yourselves. Thank you guys as always. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Shout out again to Dave Hamilton and Jersaine Cortez. And with that being said, I will see you next time.